Hey guys and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to go over the updates which came to RS3 on Monday the 9th of January. We've got three pretty big updates coming. Um, one is temporary and one is a pretty big uh, change to the death mechanics. So to start with I'm going to go over the Raptors Rampage which is something which is in the game till the January 22nd. And basically by speaking to the Raptor for one time per day you have a chance of whenever you get a boss drop to have three rolls at the rare boss table rather than just a one. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this and go and do a quick kill at Greg and also demonstrate the changes to the death mechanics as well. But um, by reading it on the homepage, which I will link into the description as well, it's looking like something where you definitely want to try this on maybe a bigger drop boss. Your Viragos, your Necks, your Cowfly Kings, the bigger tier bosses with um, the chance of a better drop. Now, I would say that this doesn't work with bosses with streak systems. So Arch Glacier and Telos aren't included on this. They will just be normal because of how their drop mechanics work. So this is basically a way to encourage um, players to PVM again. Now that the death mechanics have changed, um, it's just trying to push for the more PVM inside. So all you need to do is speak to the Raptor, and what you can do is um, who will be in War's Retreat, so you can use it with just a normal teleport. And um, all you do is just activate it and just ask for favor. So, right, I'm gonna go to Greg now and get a quick kill, and then let's see how it works. And also as well, when you've got Raptor's favor, you will have a little symbol on your buff bar as well, which is nice, so you do know when it's actually activated. With this method as well, it's actually quite AFK. Um, you do benefit massively from the Greatest Ricochet. So if you are interested in seeing this method, please let me know, and I can do a quick guide to it. There are a few guides on YouTube already, but if you wanna see it, please let me know. So, six large rune plated uh, salvage, which isn't what we're looking for, we're looking for a drop. And as you can see, the symbol for the Raptor's favor, even though hidden behind there, um, has actually disappeared. So one of the other updates was the Ring of Death change. And as you can see, um, Greg has actually just killed me there. And what the Ring of Death now does is bring a tick damage over time. So it's almost like a bleed. And because of that, it does give you a chance to out-eat it. So this is what the different screen is now. That's the Ring of Death effect. And as you can see as well, it's gone onto my debuff bar. So um, it's the revive effect, which is currently doing as well. So it gives you a chance to out eat and out damage. Now the ring of death change is something linked to the death rework and the death rework mechanic. And basically what the major change is, is that costs were always way too high and they always have been for the longest time. And basically Jagex decided to completely rework it. One of the side benefits as well, ring of death used to always teleport you out of the boss room, whereas now it keeps you in the boss room. So that's another massive benefit. You're still in the boss room, you're still in the fight, and then you've got that extra time now, heal to full, to a chance to out heal and get everything ready to continue the boss fight as well. So, I think that's quite a good update. I think that's what Ring of Death needed um, with this change to the boss mechanics as well as the death mechanics, although I just died there, tying into what we're doing before. Whereas before, any form of death will have been a massive cost, but they've now removed 80% of all the death costs. So it's a lot better nowadays to um, die as such, and you'll uh, spend a lot less GP to get it back. So in terms of the whole death rework, the main thing is, is now the Ring of Death is still relevant. It gives you a full HP and prayer heal, and gives you the chance to basically out eat the damage. The damage you would have take, which would have killed you, is basically a bleed effect, so it's something you can out eat as well. In terms of deaths charges for when you die, they have been decreased by 80%. So now deaths are a lot more accessible and a lot better to deal with. And uh, you're not paying 10 to 15 mil per death when you're only making 10 mil an hour to a certain boss. As you can see as well, for that death, that was 93k. Beforehand, that would have easily cost me a couple of mil. So brilliant update. It will make a lot more PVM bosses viable just in case you have that death cost as well. But again, with everything being... Uh, change for death cost and the GP from death cost no longer being there. Jagex have had to make a serious change with the Grand Exchange. Now 107, this has already been done, um, and basically there is a GE tax, which although this is called a tariff, it is basically a GE tax. And um, what will happen is, anytime I bought, um, anytime you sell an item or go to sell an item, there will be a GE tax. So as you can see here, this Sliske staff is selling for 470 mil. And with the GE tax, I will only receive 461 mil. So that's taken 9 mil completely out of the game. But it's balanced the death cost where you've lost people dying and the death cost for that. Now this will change completely throughout the game as well. Um, I think certain items will have certain death mechanics and death prices as well. And with old school as well, there was a threshold for a certain price. If it was under so much, it wouldn't be taxed as well. But this is a good update because RS3 does have too much gold and it does need a gold sink. With PVM, only half the community PVM'd, or maybe a bit more than that to be fair. It's more of a PVM game than a skilling game. 
But with the GE, everyone uses the GE, and the fact that you can start doing attacks on the GE means it's completely better because a lot more gold will be sunk. And the more gold which is going out of the game means it's much more viable for um, basically for the GE to run more than anything. But uh, that is this week's updates. So the three pretty big updates, to be fair. In terms of the Raptors Rampage, I think that's quite nice. It's quite a little incentive to get people bossing. It's nothing too overpowered, which will make things completely crash. But again, it's something quite nice to get people encouraged into PVM. Definitely use it on your high tier bosses, like your next Cowfight Kings. Doesn't work on Telos or Arch Glacial, so don't do them. The death mechanics reworked is brilliant. The Ring of Death is still viable. It's still got an option, and it can still help you if you go into that high level boss for the first time. And if you're really struggling on something, it gives you that chance to, even though you're going to die or you have died, to eat out of something. It still makes it so you need to bring food just in case, just so you can out eat it. And the fact it doesn't teleport you away from the boss is just the best because it just saves the ball ache of having to rebank and go, go back to the boss. The GE tax as well was much needed. It was needed years ago and it needed to be done to balance out the economy a bit. And I think um, in a couple of months, once it's had time to work through everything, you'll really see a benefit and you'll really see it work when items start to stabilize a bit better and the economy sort of balances out as well. And in terms of the update week, even though there's nothing like massively new or major big content, these three quality of life updates, well, two quality of life updates and for Raptors Rampage is a nice little bonus, is a pretty solid week in terms of updates. So uh, yeah, it's been pretty good to be fair. So if you enjoyed this video and um, if you like my content, please subscribe and like. We're on a bit of a content grind in a minute. So um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.